Perfect. So in this video, I'm just showing you today how you can get started with CC Magic if you've never used it before. So this is just a simple beginner's guide and I'm just going to take you through eight simple steps on getting custom content into CC Magic and into your game. Of course, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the program. And you can download it for free, of course, um, from Mod The Sims. And I'll leave the link below. It'll be in the description there for you. So when you're there uh, on the description tab, you're going to want to navigate to the bottom and make sure that you have these prerequisite um, software requirements. So make sure you have the framework and the Visual C before you download it. And after you get that installed. You're also going to want to have some, uh, of course, some custom content if you want to follow along. If you haven't done that already, uh, there's a, quite a few places that you can get some good quality uh, custom content items like from Tumblr. Just Google it. Um, Mod The Sims as well has some. So I went ahead and uh, downloaded some stuff just for the sake of this video. And the second thing you're going to want to do, and this is really important just to be on the safe side, and it's always a good idea to do this anyways, is navigate to your Sims 3 documents folder and copy and paste it somewhere for a backup. So make sure you back that, that folder up. Once you have your custom content that you want, you're going to want to put it in your Sims 3 documents downloads folder. So you want to navigate to wherever that is. So documents, electronic art, electronic art sims 3 and then your downloads folder and i have a couple things i already put in there so these are dot package files that i downloaded cc magic will process sims 3 packs as well so sims 3 packs and uh, dot package files so once you have your items in your downloads folder you're just going to want to open up cc magic and you'll notice that when you do open it up, those items that you had in your downloads folder will automatically transfer into the program. And on the left here under sets, you'll see a default tab. And that's where whenever you download new items, they'll automatically transfer into CC Magic under the default tab. You'll also notice a legacy tab as well. And that's just CC Magic uh, recognizing your mods folder. So your mods that are like script mods and tuning mods, it doesn't process these folders or these files at all. I'm not sure exactly why it even has it in CC Magic or why it shows it, to be honest, because it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it just, I think it could be because of the overrides package, because if you go up here into options on the, on these tabs above, um, in here, there's a code here just showing that it pri prioritizes like if you have mods in your override folder. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll just navigate to your mods folder. And um, this is where all your script mods and your tuning mods are. And sometimes um, depending on what kind of mods you have, you're going to have an over you have an overrides folder as well. So you put mods in here that need to override other mods so they need to be a priority over over your other mods in, in my case i have a certain mod where i need nros to override the other mods so need, these mods here have to be a priority before the other mod um, if that makes sense at all i don't know yeah it's just cc magic showing that it recognizes that your overrides are taking priority so once you have your items once they've transferred into this program the next thing you want to do is create your sets so create your categories under default so you want to just create categories and that the you know the way you want and organize it the way you want mine can be a lot better <laughs> i it's not that organized but so i made a category under builder by and a category um under cast, uh, create a sim, and so on. So for these items that I downloaded, these are, I think one is hair and it'll tell you here uh, too. So this is, um, this one is for female and I think, oh, this is tattoos, right? 
So I downloaded um, tattoos because I haven't done that yet. So just to show you how to create set. So what I'm going to do is highlight default and click on add down here and it should show a new set. Yeah, right here. So just highlight it and go up here uh, right beside name and I'm going to name it tattoos. And then of course, if you want to create um, subcategories underneath that, then you just highlight it and click add. So say if you want to organize your tattoos in, in different categories as well. So if you want to get really organized, you can do that. So the tattoos that I downloaded, um, I think it was a flower set. So I'll just name it flower. So it's really good to um, organize it as best as you can just in case you have a problem with the custom content you'll know exactly where to go to get rid of it so once you're done that go back to your default tab and choose the item that you're going to put into that category uh, for this case it's the tattoo so i'm just gonna drag that right into the subcategory that I just made under flower for the other one that I downloaded it was hair so I'm just I already have um, a category for that and I put all my hair into the same category which I shouldn't I should actually make some subcategories under this as well I'm going to just drag that into that category under create a sim once that's done once you've finished um, that you're going to want to enable your new sets that you made so you have to come back up here to these tabs and go into configurations and usually usually the new sets will be under disabled sets and then you just uh, highlight them and click the arrow and transfer them into enabled set but uh, they're not there so a lot of times or sometimes you have to re close and reopen CC Magic so I'm just going to do that right now and then they should be there. This is an old program so it has a few little quirks to it. Okay so go back into configuration and there they are here. I have to highlight both of them and just transfer it over and now they're those sets are enabled. So now once you've enabled your new set you have your items in your new uh, categories that you've made and like I said you've enabled them. The next thing you want to do is click on this rebuild right here and yet yeah, it usually takes like a second or not even <laughs> depending on how much custom content you have it's pretty quick now custom or now cc magic has compressed um, all those files and they will be in your game now if you already have some custom content in your game and this is the first time you're using CC Magic and you want to get that custom content transferred into this program, you want to navigate back to your uh, your mods folder and in your packages. You just want to locate all the items that you want to transfer into CC Magic. So hopefully you have them all organized and you have your scripting mods and your tuning mods separate from your casts or custom content items. Uh, so for the sake of this video, I created a folder and put an item in here. I put some hair in here. <laughs> so what you're going to want to do is just cut and paste your items into the downloads folder. And if you have a lot, just do it in small like small batches at a time so once you've finished getting all your items in there in the downloads folder open up cc magic and again your file will transfer over and then create your sets or if you've already created them just transfer them into underneath or into the categories you want so this one is hair i'm going to transfer it into hair and then I'm going to click rebuild and that's it. Um, those, all the items will be in your game. So once you've finished doing all that, the next and the last step is to just check that, make sure that all your items are in your game. And that's all there is to getting started with CC magic. And I hope that helps you out. And if you have any, uh, problems or questions, remember to leave a comment, uh, underneath and I'll do my best to help you out. Other than that, have a great day. Until next time.